In our top story, Vicksburg Mayor George Flags Jr. comments on the Vicksburg police officer and the use of force. Stay with us for the details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. Good evening and thank you for joining us here for this evening's news brief. I'm Marcus James. Jackson City Hall and non-essential city offices will be closed from December 29 to January the 6th. Jackson Mayor Shokwe Antar Lamomba put the order in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19 variant, stating the infectious spread of COVID-19 through both the Delta and Omicron variants has continued and dramatically increased in the city of Jackson, with a corresponding increase in hospitalization and death rates. Workers are working remotely to keep services operating. Offices will reopen at 8 a.m. on January 6th. And Willie Qualls has been captured after an ongoing manhunt from multiple agencies. Officers were at the resident of Willie Jean Qualls to recover a four-wheeler when they noticed other items around the home that looked suspicious. After obtaining a search warrant, a large number of items that have previously been reported stolen were recovered. Simpson County Sheriff's Office deputies pursued McGee along U.S. Highway 49 in a stolen vehicle earlier on Tuesday until he managed to run the vehicle into the woods and then fled on foot. Simpson County Sheriff's Office announced earlier that Qualls was apprehended around 8 a.m. on Wednesday near J.J. Shell Station in Mendenhall. And earlier today, Vicksburg's Daily News David Day had a chance to speak with Mayor George Flags Jr. about the incident earlier in this week's where Vicksburg police officer was caught on camera using excessive force. Take a look at this video. I cannot defend what he did because what he did is enhance some protocol and techniques of police in arresting. Uh, but when you look at the totality of what happened based upon other video uh, uh, messages and, and footage I got, then I think that the police officers uh, deserve the punishment he got, and I, don't, I think it was the punishment fit what he did. Uh, I came with the understanding I wanted to terminate when I saw, uh, when I sat at the table, when I got all the evidence, when I talked to the training officer at the academy and got the protocols of arrest uh, and all the things that go into arrest as commanded, telling somebody to stop, uh, giving them a uh, uh, thing, uh, then, then I thought all of that was done. What I didn't like is that, one, there were five other officers uh, was around and could have avoided that if they had arrested him uh, at first, when they first got the call. Uh, none of them had body cameras on, so they've been reprimanded and given one day suspension because the policies say if you don't have your body camera on, you're subject to one day suspension. So those five will get that. Then I looked at here, and when I looked at here, uh, he had an opportunity to arrest him when he was uh, the young man when he was standing by the car, did, and when he put him down, I thought the young man at that point had uh, subsided himself and uh, had handcuffs on. There was no need to go back and put his knee on him. Of course, for more information on any of our stories, you can visit our website at VicksburgNews.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back. How goes the car shopping? We found the one. Just waiting on financing. Oh, there it is. Approved. That was quick. How'd you do that? That reminds me, I need to pay my water bill. Oh, you guys need money for lunch today. Great. I don't have to split the check. How did you do that? Did he buy a boat? How did you do that? Who do you with? Mutual Credit Union. Where are you going? To set up an account with Mutual Credit Union. <laughs> Use, Use the app. app. Mutual Credit Union. Banking that comes to you. Because there should be nothing between you and your money. Warren Central Girls basketball team grabbed a 60-29 win over Park Lane Academy on Wednesday evening. The team was led by Tamaya Sims who scored 15 points on the night. Porter Chapel Academy boys basketball team got a 57-25 victory over Humphreys Academy on Tuesday night. The team was led by Lawson Selby, who scored 22 points on the night. Hey Marcus, tomorrow we have a 30% chance of showers with a high near 79 and a low near 63. 
Friday we have a 30% chance of showers with the high near 81 and the low near 70. And New Year's Day we have up to a 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms with the high near 79 and the low dropping down to 32 degrees. No birthdays reported today, but if you have them, happy birthday to you. And if you know of one, send them in to birthdays at vicksburgnews.com. And that's going to do it for this edition of your Vicksburg Daily News Briefing. Thank you for listening.